Yo, what is going on? My name is George from GT's Performance, and today I am here at JNA Small Engine, where they fix anything from weed eaters, lawn mowers, lawn tractors, and boats. And today, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna be replacing an impeller on a Mercury 135. So be sure to stick around and check it out. So here's a customer's boat. It has a Mercury 135 engine. And in order to uh, replace the impeller, we gotta remove the lower part of the transmission. I already took out a few bolts. Uh, to remove the fin that goes right here, you have to remove this cap. And then this bolt is gonna be a half inch, goes in there. And then after that's removed, on the bottom, this other screw is a 916 that goes on the bottom. And then you got two nuts that go right here. These are 16 millimeter or also a 5 8 that 5 8 works. And um, these are going to be the last uh, two screws that you're going to remove because you have to lower the transmission just a little bit to um, remove the nut from there. And there's one here in the back. And that's it. All right, so here it is. Uh, first thing I want to tell you is just don't forget to remove this uh, rubber hose from this plastic clip in the, on, the, on the very back of the transmission just so you guys won't break um, the plastic. All right, now that that's been said, check this out. This is where the impeller goes and basically it's the water pump for the engine. In this case, everything is melted off. This plastic right here, this is the result of starting the engine outside of water. If you're going to start your boat at your house before heading out to the beach or to the water, be sure to always have some of these handy. Um, these go connected onto your water hose, like a garden hose, and they just slide in from the back of the transmission all the way to these, these holes right here. And you turn on your water and then you can start your boat. I'm going to start by removing this uh, housing right here. Um, this bolt is a 5 16 These two are 7 16 and this one at the back is the half inch drive. I have some sockets right here, uh, some gaskets. I have the new housing and this is the outlet, outlet tube that goes to the top of the engine and of course the new impeller. Oh, this is plastic right here. Alright, so now that the impeller's off, it's time to remove this, this gasket. We're going to replace this one as well. Alright, and this one down here. And just make sure this, these ports right here are clean. So now the, the ports are clean, it's time to put everything back together. Putting our gasket. Make sure it sits all the way down. Then, this is a lock for the impeller. It goes right here on this groove. We're just gonna sit it right there. And on the impeller itself, it has a slot right there so that the lock can hold this thing still. Uh, we're going to use some uh, petroleum grease on the impeller.
help everything just slide into place. Now we're going to install it. There we go. Now for new housing. Some petroleum grease. And when installing this, you're going to rotate the shaft clockwise. Clockwise while pushing down. And there. Now, this back one, washer and half inch nut. These two are the 716 washer. And we're also going to put the, the new screw. This is 516. First thing putting back the transmission is this rubber hose. We're going to connect it back into this uh, water line. There. And then just make sure that this one fits into that, uh, that pipe right there. Alright, when setting the transmission, remember that these bolts go first because otherwise if you set the transmission all the way, the bolt is too long, too long and the nut won't fit in there. So be sure to put these first and then you can start uh, sitting it in. Over here in the back, we're going to put the washer and the nut. Alright, so we're going to start tightening up the sides so uh, everything starts sealing up. We're going to get a 16 millimeter wrench. Because the sockets don't fit in here. Alright, so the half inch bolt goes in here, you can use a socket to uh, push it all the way in and it should come out to the bottom. On the fin, there's no way you can put it backwards, it just goes to the back. If you put it the other way, the propeller will rub on it or hit on it, so it goes like that to the back. And that's it, last thing is just this cap right here. And you're all set. All bolts are tightened up. We got a tight seal. Remember the back ones, two on the sides, two on the bottoms, and of course one for the fin and one from the bottom up. And you can you remove your transmission.
Alright, so that's it for today's video. Remember, if you guys are going to take your boat out to the beach or to the lake, get some of those rubber ears. It's going to avoid you some of those costly repairs. And uh, that being said, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And leave me a comment. Let me, let me know what you guys think. Peace.